One thing that makes Swamiji an avatar. Nityanam guys, welcome back. Uh, myth busting. I welcome you all with my love and respects and the blessings of my Guru, His Divine Holiness, Bhagwan Sri Nityananda Parmashivam. Today's video, I just had uh, this kind of cognition which came up, so I decided to make a video about it right away. And um, one of the reasons that makes Swamiji an avatar is that See, in the past, so many people, Swamiji even mentioned that many people got enlightened by accident. The right time, the right action, right situation, right, everything is aligning and then boom, enlightenment happens. And he says most of the people, they got enlightened like that. And the problem with that is that they don't know how to replicate it properly. So like that, there is many spiritual practices which are considered traditional, which are not fully mandatory for enlightenment, but through which you can experience enlightenment. So the click I had about that is, it's like how prana resides inside oxygen. So oxygen is not life. Inside oxygen, there is prana. Prana is a source of life. Oxygen is the vehicle through which prana circulates. If you don't know exactly the science and prana, what it is exactly, you cannot give prana directly. So you will tell people, get oxygen. Of course, when you get oxygen, you will get prana because prana is within oxygen. But there's other components in oxygen which are not related to prana and which are not related to life. And you don't need to actually take those for enlightenment. They're actually not helping. Swamiji, because he has the complete experience and he came that for that purpose, he knows exactly the space where enlightenment happens. And because he knows exactly, he knows what can what you can allow in your life, which will allow your life to be smoother and more enjoyable without affecting the possibility of enlightenment and what should not. So like that, he makes it simple. Instead of just telling us, get oxygen, you'll get prana. He gives us prana directly and all the, everything which is not affecting that space of enlightenment, he will allow us. Like uh, you will see many times, especially nowadays, the Buddhists have promoted this idea, you know, so, uh, so much of like, you know, separation from everything. That's one of the main reasons I feel people are scared of spirituality is that they associated enlightenment to like, you have to get rid of everything and you can't talk to people and you can't have good food and you can't have clothes and you have to take cold bath all the time. You have to be naked in the snow all the time. It's just like so dramatic and intense. People are just like, Bro, I don't want that. <laughs> I don't want that. So people don't move towards that. But that is not needed. Many of this stuff is not needed. So like that, Swamiji makes it available in, the, in, the, in what is actually needed. Everything else, he allows these things which are not necessarily, you, you don't need to go through suffering to get enlightened. How Buddha went, like I was sharing in a previous video, how Buddha had to eat one grain of rice a day to realize that he was just closer to death and closer to enlightenment. And then he realized well, that's not it. So like that, you don't need to go through it. It's kind of useless. If you don't have a guide, okay, maybe it makes sense. But if you have somebody who has the experience and knows exactly what is prana, what is oxygen, and which how to give prana alone without all the unnecessary things which are within oxygen, then like that, you get it. And that is why Swamji is an avatar, uh, because he has that capacity, which most people don't have, even enlightened beings of the past. That is why Swamji is revealing the science of enlightenment not the path to enlightenment. No, sorry, sorry. <laughs> he's not revealing the path of how to get enlightened. He's, he's, he's sharing the science of living enlightenment, not how to get enlightened, but how to live enlightened because he knows. So he knows that when you adopt these qualities of living enlightenment, then automatically that enlightenment space happens in you. So yeah, that is one of the clarities I had about this. So I wanted to share that with you. So Swamiji is an avatar, yes. And uh, he can fulfill your seeking, yes. And uh, he is amazing, yes. And uh, be blissful. Nityan guys, Nityan. I welcome you all with my love and respect. Let you all open all your three eyes. Om Nityananda.